Good morning, baby bear families and friends. Today I am bringing story time outside. It's such a beautiful day. I hope you guys are able to get outside before the weather changes tomorrow. Today I'm going to read to you, Giraffes Can't Dance. I also brought along a giraffe because sometimes it's fun if the babies have props to hold and play with while you're reading the story. So if you have something that goes along with your story, you can let the babies play with it while you're reading your story. Giraffes Can't Dance. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim, but his knees were awfully crooked and his legs were rather thin. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees, but when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. Uh-oh, look at Gerald fell down. Now every year in Africa, they hold the jungle dance where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. And this year, when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad because when it came to dancing, he was really very bad. The warthog started waltzing and the rhinos rock and rolled. The lions danced a tango that was elegant and bold. The chimps all did a cha-cha with a very Latin fill, and eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked toward the floor, but the lions saw him coming and they soon began to roar. Hey, look at clumsy Gerald, the animals all sneered. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, you are so weird. Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted in his spot. They're right, he thought. I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. So he crept off from the dance floor and he started walking home. He'd never felt so sad before. So sad and all alone. Poor Gerald. Then he found a clearing and he looked up at the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. Excuse me, <clears throat> coughed a cricket, who'd seen Gerald earlier on. But sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Listen to the swing, grass, and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is the branches in the breeze. So imagine that the lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves had started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying and his tail was swishing around. <gasps> Look at Gerald is dancing. He threw his legs out sideways and he swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and leapt up in the air. Gerald felt so wonderful. His mouth was open wide. I am dancing, yes, I am dancing. I am dancing, Gerald cried. Look at how happy Gerald is. Then, one by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived while Gerald boogied on and watched him quite entranced. They shouted, it's a miracle! We must be in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer that we have ever seen. How did you learn to dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twirled around and finished with a bow. Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. We all can dance, he said, when we find music that we love. <gasps> the end. I hope that you guys find some time this week to spend a little bit of time dancing with mommy and daddy. Um, I do have a quick activity for you guys to work on at home if you have stuff available. Um, with this, I just took a cookie sheet 
and I actually had a old wallpaper book, so I have different textures here. Um, I'm sure you don't have wallpaper books at home, but you could use different types of paper, cotton balls, um, anything that you could find that the babies could touch and feel. Um, and I actually just taped them on here. And it could be a tummy time activity where they could lay on their tummies and play with it. If they're a little bit older, obviously they can just sit up. They might rip them off and put them back on. And that would be a fun activity for them to try at home. So I hope everybody's having a great day. I will be back tomorrow and enjoy your night and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.